Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Bass Coupler. In this video I'm going to show you how to perform a factory reset. There are one thing that you need to know that the factory reset is the same for the three versions of the Bass Coupler that we have. So once you know how to do it in one, you should be able to replicate that in the others. So let's go to the presentation. In the next part you can see that we have eight steps you need to perform the factory reset okay so let me just activate the other view here what i'm going to do now is to connect to the bus coupler the serial one okay and i'm going to perform the factory reset but in order to show you that it's going to do the factory reset i'm going to show you that i'm able to connect using the password that I said before, which is automation. Let me just connect the USB over here. I'm going to first go into Energize, the bus coupler, the serial one. Now I'm going to use the mini USB. Now if we open the common windows over here, we should be able to ping the device. One, okay. And if we go to the network, we should be able to see here the bus coupler. Over here, the bus coupler. So once we got all this, what we can do is to open one of our browsers and point to the address. And remember, if you're working in the Schneider Electric Network, you will need to disable the set scholar. Now it's activated. Now I'm going to turn it off. Okay, you can see, turn off. And now I'm going to try it again. And there we go. Okay, so Mm -hmm. It's thinking now the username I haven't changed this is administrator okay but I have changed the password okay so I'm going to show you that now using administrator login run user I'm going to use automation okay cut copy Based. Okay. Now you can see I'm able to enter into the device. So if we perform a factory reset, in order to enter again into the device configuration, we should be to use administrator, administrator, and all the settings will be go to, to normal. So let's close this at the moment. Okay. And let's go back to the to here. So the first thing that we need to do is to remove the power supply from the bus coupler and disconnect all the cables. So if we go here, just move this over here. So what we need to do now is to remove the USB and the power supply. So I'm going to remove the power supply over here and the mini USB. The next step is to change the position to the eight, to the number eight. So if we go here, remember that you using the mode bus serial, the one in the middle. I'm going to use the screwdriver over here. Over here, I'm going to move that to the number eight in both of them. Okay, perfect. If I'm not wrong, they are all in the number eight this one there we go so everything is in the number eight now okay so the next step I can show you here is to put the power supply back on so power supply you can see the LEDs over there 
next step. is to wait 30 seconds okay so just open the watch probably it's gonna take more now we just wait for this to be 30 seconds then after the 30 seconds what we need to do is to change the position of the two rotary switch to zero I'm going to make a little bit more bigger this one so you can see it. Just now they are in the position 8. There we go, 80 sec 30 seconds. Now I'm going to put that into the 0 position. There we go again. Just hide this a little bit more. If we continue with the presentation, the next step would be to remove the power supply and then connect it again. So let me just show you. Put this a little bit bigger. Remove the power supply and connect it again. Okay, good. So now, in order to validate this, okay, we should connect the mini USB and validate that the user and administrator has been changed, okay? The user and password, the password has been changed now, so I need to use administrator and administrator with the first one, in, the first letter in capital letters. So, if we want to directly connect in this way to the bus cover, isn't going to be possible because the position of the arrows are are not valid to perform a web, um, a web interface connection. So what we need to do now is to change this to another address. Okay, so for example, we're going to remove the power supply. I'm going to specify another address. Later we are going to see how is the behavior of each of the bus coupler depending on the rotary switch that we have so in this case i'm going to turn this to one on the tens it should be the number zero one and then the ones i'm going to put the number five so it should be zero one five okay it should be the a slave address 15 okay one five. So if I energize again this and if I use the mini USB cable, okay, just make this a little bit bigger. Now it's pointing to the number one and number five, okay, just to have a valid address now if we go back to the web page we should be able to access okay advance accept the risk so if we have performed good this factory reset administrator Okay, and I'm going to use automation, which is the previous one. It shouldn't allow me to get access. So cut, paste, login, wrong. Now I'm going to use administrator, administrator. And it will ask me to change the default password once it enters into the website. Okay. As you can see the full power change, administrator and automation. Automation. And this is it. Simple as that. So the process is very simple. 
we just need to follow these steps. So show that again. There are only eight steps, very simple, very easy to follow. What we need to pay attention is the final situation in the number eight when we apply the power supply and we want to connect again using the web interface. We should change the rotary switch position to a valid address and then remove the power supply and then connect the power supply again in order to activate the web interface not to activate but enable to allow you to connect to the web interface using the mini usb so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one